Hey, folks, how's it going? We're checking out Brass Eye. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Congratulations to everybody who voted on the show. If your show did not win, just remember there's always another poll. This show and Black Adder should end roughly around the same time since this is just seven episodes. And then we'll have two more polls coming up pretty soon for you voting your show. All right. Also, let, thanks for letting me know about the, the celebrity thing that they don't know what's going on in the show. They're not in on the joke. Similar to like what Sasha does when he goes around trolling people. Those people aren't in on the joke. The celebrities here aren't in on the joke. Even though I might not recognize all of them, just I shouldn't know that. So yeah, man. Uh, thanks for the information as well. And I read the rest of the comments as well. You guys all gave me some information about the show before going into it. One, I'm saying I should have watched the other show the day to day first. Um, some of you guys disagreed, so I read all your comments. I try to respond to as many as possible, so um, definitely, definitely appreciate the, the feedback and information about the show before jumping into it. So let's just go ahead and jump into it, man, and we'll talk about this more in the end. <laughs> I would have had more, but I was full of chance. We should about crabs. Well, I think every animal has as much right to decent treatment as we do. Yeah. You're wrong, and you're a grotesquely ugly freak. <laughs> Thanks. Animal rights. It's an extremely it controversial <laughs> subject, and it's not just the odd dinner party punch -up. These vast cat heads were, were built underground and seen by no one. <laughs> Europe, too, has its animal traditions. In Zaragoza, already. the streets still get crazy with the annual running of the wasp. Lubricant in the wheels of government. It was my job for some teen years to uh, procure wild beasts for the uh, House of Parliament and to get bats, gibbons. Ex-civil servant Foster Pan purchased over a thousand animals to documents work. pinned to their bodies. <laughs> Tony Benn had a tape here in the 70s that used to send this messages on around Whitehall. Rude messages to the Lords, I always remember. He used to pin to the head of the tape here. <laughs> Most of it was, was great fun. I enjoyed the job. I'm popular after that for a while. So much for the fat brass of Westminster, but this East London boozer knows all about animal abuse. Because here, every week, beer users gather to watch large men fight with weasels. Weasel fighting. When you're fighting a weasel, he's bigger than a man. And there is money in it. If you're good, there's other perks as well. The women, they fancy you if they see you kicking the shit out of a weasel. After this is a busload of flies that are being sent on holiday to Africa. They'll enjoy Somalia, but should they? Can it possibly be right for gene men to play with DNA? This one, uh, oh my God. survived like a few days and then just killed over and died. Of course, <laughs> animals and man have coexisted since long before we all oh, evolved. Shit. But while cruelty still makes our hearts bleed like fresh operation scars in a hot bath, oh, no. our daily language is full of abuse with expressions like frog stupid. No. And, but when you read on, you learn that some boys threw the bulldog into the garden to, to get a fight together. Yeah. Now, the bulldog was put down, but nobody said, what did they do to the bulldog before they put it in the garden? They take there the are no words to describe prisons not good enough because no. prisons become bed she's and not breakfast and telly. Prisons too good. Um, what about jail? Perhaps they ought to be... They should have their, their coccyx twisted. Yes, that I've was... been 20 years going to the ministers and they're finding uh, out what man does. Yeah. Not only to calves and sheep, but to everything. Frogs, uh, legs, they're on to. Weasel fighting in the East End? Everything. I mean, pulling live weasels out oh. of the right. what you're shit. saying. Have we got it right or wrong? So far. What, people? People. Wrong. A We're hundred right here. million times people wrong. What chance of getting even here, let alone here? Uh, a peaceful country haven supporting rural life like something out of a cheese ad. It doesn't look troubled. But it is. At least for one of these cows. Thanks to money, this, and a human mind as bent as a bad hedge. The text specifically designed to undermine the cow's confidence. Local press caught whiff of a weird one when the vandal shot his paint straight at the cow in the form of words like twat <laughs> and later fuck nut and arse candle. We contacted a huge bank of psychiatrists in the States. Yeah, we so they too. told us Fine, the guy's on. a homo. <laughs> then a breakthrough. The vandal was caught on camera. This is Chob. Push off my wire. He does odd jobs and lives in a field. Tossars. But that night, Chob idiot. had discovered a bad new idiot. hobby. Idiot. Fucking idiot. 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 <laughs> stupid. Stupid. Fucking idiot. Donned a cow suit and lamped Hotrin right outside the court. Wow, he chopped him in the gob. And he's legged it. 
great running. He may have been free, but Chob owed the world an explanation. Right, you, I'm going to muck your lens, right, you gay Lives sod. is owned by the cow. In the will of Edith Bates, a local crone who loved cattle, then eccentric, now dead. The cow inherited the land and a special bank account for stockpiling rent. So far, do we have it right or wrong? Let's have a look at the answer, Branter. Thanks. Find out exactly what to think next. Dogs Still, give us pleasure. Do wasps really sting us? Well, uh, yeah. they do. I mean, I, 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 they have stung me and it seemed like a sting. Was it actually a sting? <laughs> uh, I call it a sting. Oh, my God. I mean, I haven't been stung by a snake, I'm glad to say. Well, that's because they bite. If I had, I would or bite. Now that, weirdly, I believe, and yet I've never been bitten by a snake. Why don't I believe... Why do a lot of people not believe that wasps stink? Well... <laughs> yeah. Before it all stops, a school tour for the Oxford Don who believes all animals are vegetarian. Now, what do crocodiles eat? Natalie? Other animals. Mm. <laughs> no, they eat grass. Ahs. Two weeks ago, they read about Carla, an East German elephant who'd been so upset by captivity, she'd stuck her trunk in her anus. In seconds, a campaign was born. No. Thank you very much for your picture. Oh. And we showed it to Carla. Oh. And I think she gave a little elephant smile. Oh, I love that. I want to cry. That's sweet. The zoo is, you know, still not acknowledging the problem. They so. are that she could be accommodated by Jimmy Anybody Page. that lets an elephant get into that condition. Paul Daniels' contribution moved all who saw it to horrible tears. Carla the elephant is currently curled up in a kind of a grey ball. Her trunk is actually stuck up her anus and there. Come on, help us get that trunk out. Or she will explode in a shower of pulped yams. Please help me and Oz get Carla's trunk out the end of her guts. And there's nothing the law can do about it. On the other hand, you can be too nice. This woman spent her life savings on plastic surgery to make her dog look like Ray Fiennes. I think it's a little bit of an improvement on the original. It's worse in Libya. Take a look at this piece of VT. The men gather around and finish it off with their feet drag it through the town and, and leave it quite often to the, to the jackals and the uh, dogs. OK, ah. yeah, you can kill the tape. Oh, yes, please, kill the tape. Kill the tape. Hi, this is Alexandra Paul from Baywatch. Please help me get Carla's head out of her guts now before she explodes. Her head came out, but it had shrunk. <laughs> and it was now small and smooth and white. Oh, no. And so did she put it back in? No, she <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck inside. This lady's uh, still in the phone. <laughs> Which paper would print it, you know? Well, you, you put it over AP. Oh, you put it over and then the P sent it out to all the newspapers. Yeah. And thanks yeah, so much sure. for your thoughts, Alexandra. Okay, and I, um... I'll pass on your good wishes to all concerned, particularly to Andrew. If he's still going. <laughs> Look at the lady staying on the phone. Now that is it, man. All right, dude. All right. Really off to a really good start, man. This is really funny and goofy. It's just stupid. <laughs> oh, it was great. I like when how he clipped old boy up, too. The guy with the glasses. Let me see him right here. I was like clearly adding it because his glasses like <laughs> just showing up and disappearing. And not just that this is edited so crazy where you clearly see his glasses popping on and off. Do the whole thing. It's like what he said too, like, aren't we a bunch of fuckwits? An elephant could never like get his nose up his ass. That's chances of his kinda of like us looking our own balls. Something like that. I know I'm butchering it, but he said something like that while it was like edited together. That was fantastic too. This show's really goofy, man. This is <laughs> goofy as shit. Oh dude, this is good. The dude talking shit to the cow with the headphones on. When he was just, just the, when he was changing, his voice was funny. When he was saying this, like, how about, <laughs> like, how about right here? And the voice he was making. Dude, this is a good show. This is goofy as shit. I didn't go into this with, like, a ton of expectations anyway. Like, it's not like I went into this expecting a certain thing. But I didn't know he was going to play a bunch of characters. Like, he, he does, like, a really good job. Oh, boy, walking through the door with the chicken in his crotch. Oh, that's just ridiculous bullshit. Fighting weasels. <laughs> Fighting otters. Fucking dogs. 
This is random, goofy, stupid, fantastic. What a good show, man. Well, I can't judge her show. This is his first episode, but I loved it. If this is you guys' first time um, watching this as well, let me know how you, if you liked it, man. If you laughed as much as I did in this. All right, guys, man, that is that is it, man. A, a really good start to a new show. So, all right, man, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.